This build was recommended to me, and it's quite the fun one. Combat Mobility and Compact Max. What Combat Mobility does is allow you to maneuver around more while firing the Thunderhead, and a faster fire rate and startup. Meaning, if you have the right gear mods, you can reach the maximum fire rate in two shots. With the downsides of less magazine size. And Compact Mags gives the burst rifle more ammo, letting you kill more bugs before you run out. With the downsides of less fire rate and reload time. Both overclocks are really good, but let's see how they fare against the bugs. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Here we go. So I've made the conscious decision that I need to hydrate more. So I've made the purchase of a big ass water bottle. I don't know why that's the conversation I decided to start with in this video, but it's just sitting right here on my desk. I'm very particular about my water bottles that I purchase, but in recent times, I just need to get a big ass water bottle at this point. This thing can hold apparently eight cups of water which is apparently the recommended amount in a whole entire day. So I just have a whole day's worth of water right there. And it will not sustain me. And oh my god, where am I going? I'm stuck in a pit. Help. Oh, there's a trilight deposit too. Die. <laughs> I gave leeches. Help, Matt. Oh, oh, there's two. No, there's a meatball too. Ah! What a good way to start off this mission. <laughs> Talking about a big ass water bottle and then dying. All right, go. Oh, I thought there was, I could have sworn I saw, what is it? Red sugar. Ooh, that meatball's coming. Get him, get him. Okay. Oh, there's so many voice lines going on right now. There's, there's a split between people who call them meatballs or pinballs. I like, I like saying meatballs more. It's just more hilarious when I set it on fire too. Been playing more Liza P and yeah, I keep going back to it a lot <laughs> in my videos, but yeah, no, I've been playing more Liza P and I think I'm getting close to the end game because for some reason, all the enemies are just really, really hard now. <laughs> I played a lot of the from software games in my time. And what I will say is that this final area that I'm in is reminding me a lot of Dark Souls 2. And if anyone has played Dark Souls 2, they'll know just how annoying the ambushes can be. <laughs> so I guess I will say that I can somewhat agree with the ramp up in enemies just for no reason out of nowhere. Jetty Boots? I did see a complaint on someone's someone's steam review saying that it just ramps up out of nowhere after the first half of the game but i i will disagree that it's not actually the first half of the game it's mainly the last area of the game so i mean i mean that's kind of expected for the final area if anyone's ever played a kirby game they'll know that that's literally how the final areas go there's just a bunch of enemies for like no reason i need to kind of stop that buddy Oh, that's Bosco. Okay, <laughs> you're just moving all about. Protect me! No, I can't shoot the gun anymore. Protect me, auto cannon. Protect me. Can you die? Ooh, another meatball. Ooh, I'm probably gonna die. I hear the jetty boots. I just don't know. What... Oh, okay. They are. They're up this cave. Nope. Meatball. No. Give me the power of flight. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I like jumped for real. <laughs> yes, Flappy Bird Simulator. If you turn off, if you turn off the season four, like this is just for the November update, because you can actually turn off season four after you've completed the performance pass. But if you turn off the season four stuff, will it also get rid of Jetty Boots? Because if it does that, I kind of don't want to do that. Now I can get to high places. That means that these bulo caps can't hide on the ceiling anymore. Let's go do these uh, lithophage contagion spikes. I think in every live stream that I've done so far for this game, which is three, people have asked me why I spread the foamer or the foam around like in like little bursts. 
And that's because I have a delusion in my head. When I first played in season three, I was just spraying it ha haphazardly like this. And I saw it start to disappear over time as I was spraying it. And I was like, in my head, I thought, oh, it just disappears because I'm spraying too much of it. So now I just subconsciously, I just spray it in little dots. So that way I don't use up a lot. Can you swarm or screw off? Anyways, so yeah, no, I just subconsciously start to spray the, the lithophage foam like this in dots because, oh, damn it. I forgot that Bosco picks it up automatically. It's like that one friend who doesn't know how to deal with a lithophage and he just picks it up without spreading all of it first. No, you go over there, Bosco. Stop spawning them in. Oh, uh, stare, go, go stare at the wall. You're in timeout, Bosco. Yeah, go, go stare at the wall. You're in timeout. This is what I get for deciding to play on Hazard 5. Is this, is this what I get for deciding to play in my videos on Hazard 5? Just all these bugs just coming out of nowhere. There you go. I'm gonna... Okay, first, I'm gonna drop that. And then I'm gonna go drop this resupply down. I'm sorry, loot bugs. You're cute, but you give valuable loot. That nitro vein should give us enough. Yep, cool. Got another one. Bugs. Okay. Fly! I was still flying even though I was rock boxed. I wonder if that's a glitch that you can do. Ooh. Nope. Bosco, go over there. Listen, Bosco. You're really helpful, Bosco. But I feel like you just need to go in the timeout corner. <laughs> just put Bosco in the timeout while you're dealing with the, the lithophage. Okay, there we go. Anyways. I know for a fact that that is not all the lithophage. There's gotta be more. Well, let's find out. A very unhealthy work. Wow, okay. That was all of it. Bosco, come back! You're, you're no longer in timeout. Come back. wonder what these will do. They do nothing. Fun fact. Ow. You know, apparently meatballs are supposed to be blind. Yet, somehow, this meatball knows exactly where I am. You know, this build is like the perfect, like, combo between AoE with combat mobility and single target with the burst. It's pretty good. Oh, the jetty boots are actually going to really help during this. Wherever DRG is going to want to spawn. On in this stupid bomb pack. You know, for a fact that it's gonna put it in a dumb place. Now let's just not have another incident like the Omen Tower in my last video. Did you... Oh. See, I told you they're gonna put it in a stupid spot. That reach? Yep. Cool. Damn you. What if I just... Did that. That reach. Okay, this is fine. It feels like it has more health. I'm going all the way. One more, literally. Ah, I'm making sure this bomb makes it. Hey, explode! <laughs> Yoink. Nyrm. Yoink. And start getting that one. Bugs. I like how it bounces off of them sometimes. That's hilarious. Ooh, so close to another resupply. Oh, I got another resupply. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You know, a while ago, one of my friends actually wanted me to make a short video about how people don't use their power attack for some reason in this game. Like, Greenbeards don't know how to use it. Like, I know you had to unlock it at first, but once you unlock it, you can start using it. You know, he wanted me to make like a short video being like, so once you unlock power attack, basically all you have to do is press your mining button and then the attack button. So you can just start doing power attacks. And it's really useful, it can help you in a pinch. He wanted me to make a short video and I never got around to doing it because I just thought, you know, people will learn that eventually themselves while playing the game. Hell, I even had to learn it when I unlocked it. So, friendly reminder, if you're a green beard and you just started the game and you just unlocked your power attack, maybe start using it more. And once you get to your tier 2 gear mods for your pickaxe, 
I'd recommend the better weight balance one, so that way your power attacks can recharge a lot faster. Okay, that's four. No, don't spawn in more. There you go. Who's gonna protect you now? The answer to that is no one. Last one. All the way up there. Yep. It's, it just spawned inside the meteor crater. <laughs> nope. No no attacking Steve. Okay. You don't spawn anymore. You gimme. Ah, my Steve. We'll pour one out to, to Steve too. It's like she's bigger on the inside. That's because she is. She's like a black void. Hoarding all the minerals. Am I going the right way? Starting room question mark? I am. Enjoy this. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get out of here. Nice. Another successful mission. And with a pretty fun build, this was a really good build. I liked it. I like that it really paired well with each other. Doing single target damage with the secondary, and then doing crowd clearing with the, the auto cannon. What wasn't nice was losing three revives, but eh, let's just ignore that. Hell yeah. Oh. I hate 